big old Wagyu beef. And we've got to split it in half. So <clears throat> this is one of the tougher parts of getting this carcass through the commercial process. We've got a Jarvis Model H saw um, running 112 inch blade. This saw was installed new here probably close to 40 years ago. Maybe a little bit longer. I think we have a picture in a magazine somewhere. Over here, we're going to go from tail to neck. We've already taken the tail off. I drew a little bit of a line right here with my knife. It makes it a little easier to follow. And we want to break this right along the, <clears throat> the fe through the H bone along those feather bones. So you've only got about a half an inch tolerance um, if you get that blade one side or the other. So as we get down through, we get about halfway. We've got it on a hoist, we'll lift it up. We put a plastic bag down on the floor so that way we can lower it down. It stays nice and steady that way. Let's just get started. bone right there <clears throat> I kept my saw tilted up pretty high and then I can get more horizontal it'll kind of snap once we get through there Now, if you take a close look, you can see on a big beef like this, it can be kind of hard. I just caught the edges of those feather bones right there. If I'd have got any further over to the right, I'd be getting into that um, porterhouse area. So now it's just, now that I can see, and I need to leave about a quarter inch of bone on either side of the... something when he has a big chop and because this is a wagyu beef um, getting into that muscle would be pretty costly pretty fast so only thing left to do at this point get it on our hooks get it on the rail
just about tipping the scales at a thousand pounds, somewhere high 900s. Pretty typical for a Wagyu, they got that big front end from pulling all those ox carts over in Japan through all those centuries, but there you have it. Our Wagyu steer split down through the middle with that Jarvis Model H splitting saw. It split thousands of cattle over the last four or five decades and um, does the job pretty good. Why don't you go into a little bit of detail on what the home user can use to split a beef if they don't have access to a Jarvis saw like we have. What are, what are some of their options as far as hand saws? Um, Etc. What what have you seen people use uh, to split that? Because it can definitely be a difficult task if you don't have the correct tool. Sure. So we do have a hand saw here. I think this is a this is a 27 inch blade hand saw. The big thing is is like the, the carcass blade um, is three teeth per inch. So you want to have a, a blade that is fairly fine. So if you're thinking in terms of using a sawzall. Um, perhaps a chainsaw, those, those are gonna do the job. It might just be a little bit rough, a little bit messy. The biggest thing is, is you have some nice fine teeth and then you have enough travel. So you need to get through this carcass right here on a beach this size. This is something like 16 inches or so, just guessing. You have to have enough travel on your blade to get through there, so. Um, those might be a couple of examples that you can use, but the teeth, you want fairly fine teeth, that way you don't make a big choppy mess out of that. So, um, in the old days, uh, they, they would have used cleavers. The other thing is, is we had already split this brisket, so you're going to want to split this brisket first. We already did that when we were on the skinning cradle, but once you get down to this point, you could go from the front end and from the back just to, to split the difference right here. But yeah, with that kind of travel right there, I mean, Sawzall blades, do they even make a 16 inch? 16 inch Sawzall blade maybe with, with some fine teeth. Um, but the hand saw, you're gonna, you're gonna be at it a while, but you will get through it if you have a hand saw similar to ours. It'll just be a long process. But those fine teeth are what keep the, the bones nice and clean as they go through there. So if you have uh, something similar to that, you'll get the job done.